Hello, this is the Reverend Prophet Mark Stewart coming at you with another brand new YouTube release. Oh my God, the messages are enlightening, they're powerful, and I know many of you live on these messages. Watch and be blessed as the Lord minister to you through this great sermon coming at you in the name of Jesus. And remember, support our ministry. Watch and be blessed in Jesus' name. Let me dive in this word from the book of Psalm. And the number 58. Be merciful to me, O oh my God. For my enemies are in hot pursuit. Lord Jesus. All day long they press their attack. My adversary pursue me with all day long. In their pride. Many are attacking me. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, and I am not afraid. Everybody lift your hand and say, I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. What can mere mortals do to me? All day long they twist my words. All their schemes are for my ruin. All their schemes are planned for my ruin. They conspire. They lurk. They watch my step. Hoping to take my life. Because of their wickedness. Do not let them escape. In your anger, God, bring the nations down. Record my misery. Lit my tears on your scroll. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will turn back when I call for help. By this I will know that God is for me. Everybody touch yourself and say, God is for me. Mm. In God, whose word I praise in the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust and I'm not afraid. What can man do to me? I am under vow to you, my God. Everybody say that to Christian in the church. I am under vow to you, my God. <laughs> I was not selected paid for or elected by a people to serve the people. I was ordained by God to be a prophet to the nation. I was ordained by God to be a servant for God to the people. And no weapon. Oh, the church of God not here. You're not hearing me. I am under foe. Not under wood. What is this? What is I am under foe. To God. To serve him, to trust him, and to reveal truth to his people. Hey, I want a church to preach this. Somebody praise the Lord. And I will present my thanksgiving offering. And in the Lord, in whose word I praise. For you have delivered me from death. Anybody have a testimony? And my feet from stumbling that I may walk before God in the light of his life. Are you there with me? I made a vow. I made a vow. And I won't turn back. Trusting in God. And God's care in the midst of fear. 
is very critical to our survival. Somebody praise God. Because when all seems dark, one truth still shines bright. What is that? When God is for us, those who are against us will never succeed in their plan to take us down. Ah, this church is weak in their pray. Somebody praise the Lord. Never succeed. The only way they can touch us is if God allow it. And God will allow it only when he wants to get the glory out of it. Are you there with me? Praise the name of a living God. So David states what can mere mortal do to me? How much harm can people do to us? They can inflict pain. Huh? They can inflict suffering. They can even cause us to die. Somebody praise God. But no person can rob us of our soul or our future. Belong in this life. It only belongs to God. How much harm can we do to ourselves? Somebody praise God. The worst thing we can do is to reject God. And don't trust in God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God, no man. Lift your hand and praise God. Lift your hand and say, no matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. Oh, somebody not helping me. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, man. Praise God. People can inflict pain on your life. They can cause you to suffer. They can even try to kill you. But my soul say yes. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. Somebody praise God. You can kill this body. Lay me down in the grave. But I've got Jesus. And you can't take him away. Somebody praise him up in here. You can take the house. Take the car. Take the money. But I got one thing. My soul. Magnify God. Somebody praise God. You see why the people running for the job. They're worried about their flesh. And not their soul. But if it's in this life you have hope. You must be a miserable person. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I don't have hope in this life. Because in this life. I'm going to lose my life. But in the next life. My soul. Will live. In eternity. Because I heard the word says. I don't need to take the job. To save my body. Because flesh and blood. Cannot inherit. The kingdom of God. Somebody not talking to me here. So if you're worried about the flesh. And not about your soul. You're going to be miserable. Because flesh must die. In Adam we're going to die. Whether it's corona. Whether it's a gunshot. Whether it's an accident. Or a natural sickness. It's appointed to man. Wants to die. But after death. Comes judgment. And we will rise. To face that. Somebody help me here. Somebody praise God. Praise God. So what can mere man. Do to me. Somebody praise God. I don't trust man. Some trust in chariots. And some in horses. But I will trust. In the name of the Lord. But nowadays, what if I trust in a science? And science have always failed. Because if science never failed, they should have a cure for cancer. They should have a cure for AIDS. They could have a cure for kidney problem. 
diabetes, pressure, and sugar. It never goes away. It just gets suppressed. You're not talking to me here. Anybody who is cured from cancer, it was not from medication. It was not from dialysis. It was from some natural healing things, from the herbs. Anybody you hear get cured from cancer is not pharmaceutical. It's not operation. And every time they operate, the cancer come back in some stronger form. Somebody not helping me here. But when God, uh, say man of God, uh, lay your hands uh, on a cancer patient uh, and they get healed, uh, then the cancer leave the body. Or uh, uh, when somebody change their diet uh, and eat healthy uh, and find uh, a God-given remedy, uh, they get cured. Uh, science have failed. People who don't have tumor, people who don't have cataract, will never have high problem. We'll never have all kind of kidney problem. We would never have heart attack. No, pressure on a high. If you're high blood pressure, you live on blood pressure pill for the rest of your life. So it doesn't cure you. So science has never won. Lift your hand and say, science fail. Or my mother wouldn't die. My father wouldn't die. My uncle, my auntie wouldn't die. Of no sickness when the autopsy done. The cardiac arrest. And all kind of sickness. Are you there with me? You're not talking to me. Lift your hand and say, Jesus. Never fail. In God. In God, in God, do I put uh, my trust? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God, no man. Jesus said it. Uh, do not be afraid of those who can kill the body, uh, but you cannot kill the soul. Uh, Matthew 10, 28. Uh, instead, we should fear God who controls uh, this life and the next life. You're not talking to me. Somebody praise God. Praise him like you feel him. So tell all the hypocrites. Tell all the warlords and the parasites. I'm going to turn my eyes to the hills. Loose men from whence cometh my help. And I'm going to holler. Be merciful to me. Oh God, lift your hand and say, God, be merciful unto me and protect my life for my enemies are in hot pursuit. They're coming after my soul, trying to take control. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. My, do you have any enemies? And me one have enemies. Oh, no, no, I have none. My enemies are in hot pursuit. They're searching for me. They're hunting me down. Somebody praise the Lord. They're hunting after your soul. They're looking for you. Anybody have any enemies around here? All day long, they press their attack. But when they press their attack, I just press along in God's own way. Cause persecution, we must be a loose man. Trial and crosses in our way, somebody. But the hotter the battle, the sweeter. Somebody praise God. Lift your hands and bring it on. Bring it on, devil. If you think you're bad, come after me one more day. Come after me one more night. Pursue my life like you own it. Attack me like you think you're bad. Every Goliath lose them head. Every Pharaoh drowning at the Red Sea. Every Jezebel splat upon the fire. Oh, Jesus. And no weapon. No weapon. No weapon. 
no demon. Somebody help me here. You got enemies? Then praise God for your enemies. They're going to make you stronger. You have adversaries. My adversaries pursue me all day long. Somebody say, when am I going to stop? Only when God kill them. Somebody praise God. Some people will never stop. Come after your life until you tell God drown them. Until you tell God drop them. Drop them in a them own pit. Knock out them job one. Lick out them front teeth. Let them slide and drop. Somebody lose the preacher here. Somebody praise God. I don't know about you, but I was buried alive. And I'm still breathing. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I am alive. And there must be a reason. All the hell that they bring you through. I know they can't get rid of you. Somebody now praise God. I don't know what tomorrow may bring. But somebody, Lord God. Somebody praise God. Praise God. My adversaries. My adversaries. They pursue me. They're pursuing you. All day long. In their pride. Them now want humble themselves. Tell some people around you. You're full of pride. You're coming after me. With all your pride. But I humble myself. In the Lord. Because God is. My refuge. And strength. My very. Present help. In time. Somebody praise God. In God. Somebody give him a praise. Somebody give him a praise. In their pride, they attack me. Because they think they can't win. They're full of pride. They're full of bitterness. They're full of hatred. They're full of malice. Yeah, you feel the Holy Ghost. Their heart is heavy towards you. They carry feelings in their pride. They're attacking your humble life. Somebody praise God. When I am afraid, I put my trust. Somebody help yourself now. Lift your hand and say, Lord, when fear come over me, I put my trust in you, Lord. When fear grips my body, I put my trust in you. Because upon this rock, I build my church and the gates of hell. You're not talking to me here. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear. Somebody lose me. No evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and staff. Lift your hand and praise God. You prepare a table before me in the presence of of my enemies Lord anoint up loose me up in here my head with oil my cup I feel something surely goodness and mercy shall follow me oh. come on trust God trust God don't give up on God. He won't give up on you. Daniel, trust him. He came out of the den. Fully alive. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They trust him. And the fire turned up. Seven times hotter. They came out alive. With not a hair on their head. Come on, somebody not talking to me. David trust God and he faced the giant and he said the God of Israel whom you defy he's going to hand you over and I'm going to cut off your head and feed your body to the bird somebody praise the Lord somebody praise the Lord he was there for Moses right at the Red Sea and he drowned Pharaoh he was there 
Somebody help me here. Shout hallelujah. Herod wanted to kill Peter, but overnight he sent an angel to bust the prison and let out Peter. He came out alive. Somebody not helping me. He was there for Hannah when Penina done her. And I have a string of pitney them and she can't get one. She said, Lord, if you give me one, I'll give him back to you. God said, all right. At that minute, I wait for You're about to get pregnant with a Samuel. Somebody not talking. Praise God, no man. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ruth said to Naomi, entreat me not to leave you. Where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people, my people. Your God, my God. I feel the Holy Ghost. When she got down to Judea and went to the field, she met a man named Boaz, who was family to Naomi. She got married to Boaz and became a rich woman. Coming out of fire. Somebody say, in God! And out of our line came Jesus. You're not talking to me. You're not talking to me. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I heard Mordecai sent a word to Esther. We're up for murder. We're up for slaughter. We got to weep and holler and beg God for our lives. I hear Esther say, Mordecai, line up the Jews in Susa. Let's go on a prayer fast. Three days and three nights. Let's not eat nothing. Because the God we serve is able to deliver us. If I perish, I perish. But I must get a deliverance. Can I preach to somebody here? We must get a breakthrough. In God, we trust uh, some, uh, I feel God. Uh, and the Bible said, uh, the table turned and Haman got hung on his own callous. Haman is about to hang on his own callous. Somebody praise God. Here cannot go get stoned. Somebody now talk to me. Bielam and Bielak made a plan to destroy Israel. But I hear God say, Bielam, don't curse them. Cause them people you are blessed. Somebody praise God. Rise up people of God. Because when I am in fear, I put my trust in you. In God. Somebody holler in God. In God. Whom I praise. In God. I put my trust uh, so I am not afraid of the terror by day, nor the horror by night. What can you do? Somebody say, Master God, we need help. Show forth your glory. Show forth your glory. Hallelujah. In God, in God, we trust. Huh? Huh? Who want trust man? Make them go on. Who want trust science? Make them go on. But in God, I'm not afraid. I am not afraid. I said I am not afraid. Are you afraid? Fear is your killer. It's a threat not thyself. Because of evil doers. They soon, soon be cut down. Somebody praise God. Lift your hands and cut them down. Them full of pride. Then dip on their hearts. 
They are unstoppable. Somebody say, mighty God of Israel. Stop them. Stop them. Stop them. All day long. They twist their words. Twist my word. They're trying to find a reason. I know they're listening to me. And I hear them saying, if him just say anything that we can use against him, we are going for him. Every day they're listening to me. And I heard them saying, record him and listen to him again. Because if we get anything that is said that we can use, we're going for him. No, you're not talking to me. If him slip, him slide. We're going to set him up big. Get rid of him good. Make an example out of him. But I heard Herod said tomorrow I'm going to disgrace Peter publicly but overnight Peter was sleeping between four soldiers gone in bed in a pyjama because in God an angel show up not Peter and say, Wake up, boy. This is a jailbreak. They might plan to embarrass you, but I come to lose you. And the chain fell off, and the gate bus open, and he put on in clothes and walk out through the front gate. Somebody lift your hand and say, I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All day long. They twist my words. All their schemes. <laughs> are for my ruin. They set you up. To ruin your life. Mess up your future. Dampen your ability to function. Stress you to the limit. Pressure your mind. Come on. Pressure your brain cell. Make you start think crazy. Make you ready to commit suicide. But the devil is a liar. Somebody say, I shall not. Believe and declare. The word of the Lord. Amen. Somebody give him praise. Say, I shall not die. You declare over your life. But live and declare. The word of the Lord. Amen. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him glory. Lift up the name of Jesus. They conspire. Touch your neighbor. Say, I know one of them. I know two of them. I worry for them. I work together. They conspire, they lurk, they watch every step you make, everywhere you turn, everything where you do, they might watch you, I'll shut you, and I try to set you up. But lift your as a neighbor, don't worry about it. Rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun, three little birds. Sit by my doorstep. They're singing sweet song of melody pure and true. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my message to you. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and say, Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing gonna be alright. God is able to deliver you. And he's coming true. You may not know how. 
You may not know it, but he's going to do it again. Somebody praise him like you feel him. Praise him like you feel him, man. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Somebody say, I trust God. I'm going to trust God. Live or die. If I perish, I perish. If I go to jail, I'm coming out with a jailbreak. If I go in the den of lions, I'm coming out alive. If I go in the fiery furnace, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Somebody lose me hair. I'm coming out alive. Somebody say yes. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody praise God because yet yeah, though I walk through the valley, shadow of death, I will not fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod loose me here. Somebody praise the Lord, give him the glory. Lift up the name of Jesus. If I get to the Red Sea, I'm crossing Life River. Although I can't see the bridge, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. If I find myself in the brook of life, the Lord will bust up water from the brook. And if he have to send drunk to feed me bread and meat, I will not suffer. I will not beg for Lord God. The Lord, loose me now. The Lord is my provider. I will not beg. Hallelujah. They, they conspire, they lurk, they watch, hoping to take my life. Because David said, they watch my steps, hoping to take my life because of their wickedness. Do nothing. Do not let them escape. So when I speak, I speak bold and brave. Because I know the God that I serve. That is able to deliver. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But you know, there are times when these people cause your life to be in misery. Uh-oh. Lord Jesus, they cause you to cry, to be angry, to be disappointed, to want to run, hide, escape. But I heard David said, record my misery. Lord God, list my tears on the scroll. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will be turned back. Somebody praise God. God, when you see what them do to me, me not good on a station go report. I report it to heaven. Cause he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody say, God, re record my misery. Record my tears. If you ever make me cry one more time. Hey. The first time I saw God act on people's tears, and he said to Moses, I have heard their cries. I have seen their tears and I've heard their groaning. Tell fear or let them go. Or else. I am the Lord. Let them come worship me or else. Huh? Tell Jamaican Pharaoh, let God's people go to worship him in this country or else. Mm -hmm. 
The Lord said, I will kill. I will kill the firstborn. Say Moses, I am the Lord. I will kill the firstborn. I will bring judgment on the gods of Jamaica. And I will kill the firstborn. Aye. You see them people here. Not believe they are the same God we are serving. Them politician and them political and them pharmaceutical and them business people. They don't know that it is the same God of Israel we serving, you know. And when he gets angry over his people. He will kill. He will kill. He will kill. See, when I call for help, by this I will know that God is for me. How are you going to know that God is for you? When you call for help, and in accordance to the record of your misery, God act on your behalf. And destroy the enemy. Then and only then you will know God is for you. Are you prepared to prove God by trusting God in this time and in this season? People, are you ready for this? I'm closing. Hallelujah. In God whose word I praise. In the Lord whose word I give praise. In God I trust. Everybody say that. In God I trust. I am not afraid because I am not afraid. No, 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 I am not afraid. So, no, 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 I am not afraid. So let them come. Let them come cause I'm protected by the most high. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because when my enemies and my foe came upon me to eat up my flesh, they will stumble and they will fall. I am under vow. Oh, hallelujah. To you, my God. So I can't switch. I can't bow. I cannot surrender. Christian people, you are under vow. When you stand and receive your membership in the body of Christ, you made a vow. I will serve the Lord. With all my heart, I will not lean to my own understanding. But in all my ways, I will acknowledge him so he can direct my path. What's wrong with you? I'm under vow and I will present my thanksgiving offering to God. Not to Simon, not to Cyrus down the road. Not to evil force. I will present my sacrifice to the Lord for you have delivered me from death four times look at me I'm a living testimony I jump off in a sea jump off in a steel the last man we do it last week dead steel run all over him I jump in at the same place no one says steel kill one man the last week and I come up back with only scratch on my belly and my hand a boy, some boy up the road said, Boy, Jesus Christ, why you jump a while ago? I said, Don't listen. He said, Go back, go look. When me go look, everything in me, 
tremble when the water sector because all me can say is steel. I guess some should have dead. I'm still here. I crash early morning coming to studio man. Vehicle completely totally wrecked. Spin three times, drop, boom. Turn the other direction, and the cows that was in the road walk past me and say, Move. I say, No, I'm still standing. When I reach home, Janelia check. Him all right. Him not have no cut. Him okay. Hallelujah. The police come and say, Which mug? We must go look for the, the driver. I say, I'm the driver. They say, uh uh. The driver for the crash vehicle. I say, I'm the driver. They say, uh uh. What are you doing? Yes, sir. People like you come out of that. We're going to the mall to question the dead. Huh? Or we have to rush them ourselves to the hospital, broken up. What are you doing here? I say, by the way, I'm on my way to church to preach later on, too. Because I'm still here. To praise your name. I'm still here. If the accident kill me, there might have not been breakthrough mandible. If the sea did take me, there would be no breakthrough ministry. Huh? But I'm still here. Hold it. When I was, I think about 12, 13. My permanent marker. Had a bus run over me. Mount Peter and over. Going to the Baptist church one Sunday evening. Hop one bus. I will love hop vehicle. Slip. And went under. I have a permanent mark. That's the only thing we can come off of me. As a reminder, Mr. Prime Minister and the rest of Uno, that I must serve the Lord. It's the only mark we never recover in terms of the skin coming back. It's a permanent reminder. That's the first time I should have died. I remember riding the donkey every Monday to a clinic to dress. Couldn't walk, couldn't do anything. They had to lift me and put me on the donkey. In the country those days, you didn't have taxi, you have donkey. Ride, go to a clinic. And every week, the nurse would dress and put on the yellow dressing and, the, and burn it up. And every time we go and take it off, it's still raw. Still now get better. On my way to school one day, I just catch the thing and just go so pew, rip off it and dash it and left it. And by three day time, it dry up. You're not talking to me. I'm still here. So when you don't hear me, I preach and I stand up for God. Me not hurry come up. God build me for this. I should have, could have, would have died. Now the enemies want me dead if I didn't die from accidents and the sea. What can mere men do to me? If God be for me, who so I only live my life to please the Lord. Stand on your feet, let us get out of here. I am working for a robe. And a star on my crown. Hallelujah. I only live my life to please the Lord. Give God the praise. Give God the praise. Hello there. I'm the Reverend Prophet Mark Stewart. That you've been watching, enjoying, and being blessed every time a new message comes up on your YouTube. I know many of you are locked waiting for the next broadcast, for the next release, for the next YouTube preaching. 
Oh, everywhere I go, all across the world, many people, we see the numbers rising and we know many of you are blessed by our sermons on YouTube. Here is what I want you to do in the midst of this pandemic. Do you know that so many of you are blessed, but yet we struggle as a ministry to cope, to pay our bills, to make things happen in this pandemic? I want you to talk with us. I want you to come on board with me. All of you, my partners, who are watching and are being blessed on YouTube, in this season, by now to December, I want every single one of you that have been blessed by our messages to plant a seed. I want you, if you don't have a ministry that you tithe into, to tithe into this breakthrough ministry and support this prophetic work that is always coming at you in your bedroom. Some of you sleep on it. Some of you watch at your workplace every single day. Listen, I want you to plant a seed. It's coming up on your screen. All the mediums that you can use. Click on one of them and use the opportunity to plant a seed in our ministry for our mission and for our ministry to continue so that in this time of great disaster we can keep coming at you with great and powerful messages come on board with me help me to stay on YouTube stay on television stay on radio and continue to do mission to the poor and the needy plant a seed in our ministry today and watch your life be blessed go ahead right now take that credit or debit card out click on one of the apps and use it plant a seed in the breakthrough deliverance ministries that is coming at you in Jesus name and of course I pronounce and declare a mighty move of God and a blessing on your life like never before right now in Jesus name go ahead and so as God bless you